Alright children, Uncle Tickle here, and today we're having an OU tier match against Sep Gandy from Discord. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. Links as always are in the description below. So look at my team, you guys have seen this team before. It's that Pokeaim team built around the Alolan Golem with the uh, Magnet Pool shenanigans or whatever. So you guys pretty much know my team. But looking at my opponent's team, he's got the Lucario Tornanus. <laughs> Sorry, Tornadus. The, uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the uh, Weavile, the Victini, which is a major threat, the uh, Greninja, and the Sceptile. So this is a pretty fun match, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with my Magirna, as my opponent is going to lead off with the Zucario. And obviously, I don't know, this being the first turn, if he's uh, physical or special Lucario. So I'm actually going to swap out here, not wanting to take a dick load of damage on my Magirna. I'm going to bring out my Landorus, get the Intimidate, lowering his attack, as my opponent is going to go for the Swords Dance here, raising his attack by two stages. So effectively, after the Intimidate, he's at plus one. And uh, I was looking on the damage counter, I didn't see Ice Beam, so I, I didn't know if he had Ice Beam or not. But here we see that he does, and unfortunately I'm going to lose my Landorus, which really sucks Mad Dick because that was my, my uh, Stealth Rocker, so... Here, I'm just going to bring out the Alolan Golem here. I do have the Magnet Pool, so he's not able to swap out. I go for the uh, the Earthquake there, and Sep was like, how the hell did you outspeed? So, I, I guess, obviously, now he knows that I am uh, Choice Scarfed <laughs> Alolan Golem here. So, I'm going to swap out my Missing Nut as my opponent brings out his Sceptile, named after himself. And uh, here, he's going to Mega Evolve. And again, I wasn't sure if this was like a physical or special Mega Sceptile. I was kind of thinking it was special. Uh, just because most of them are, but he actually shows the Leaf Blade here, so this is a Assault Vest Magirna, obviously that doesn't matter because he's physical. He actually gets a crit there, but Magirna is so damn bulky, it, it, it basically eats that Leaf Blade like it's nothing. So my opponent's going to swap out, I kind of figured he would because I'm a damn fairy type and he's a dragon. He actually brings out his Victini. I just figured my safest play was to go for the Floor Cannon because it hits like a damn nuke. And uh, I can get some nice chip damage off on this Victini if that's what he decided to go into. And it is, so here I'm going to swap out into my Zapdos. Because I am a bulky Zapdos and most Victini are physical usually. So my opponent actually makes a pretty good play going for the trick there. He's going to get rid of my Rocky Helmet, which kind of blows. And uh, he's going to give me a Choice Scarf. So we are rocking Choice Scarf, bulky Zapdos boys. And uh, yeah, that's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's also... Oddly enough, it's actually not the worst thing either, so I'm just going to go for the Heat Wave because I kind of figured my opponent would swap out. I actually luck out and get the Burn there, which is fantastic for me because we saw before that this uh, this set tile is actually physical, so that's going to go ahead and cripple his attack, and uh, my opponent's basically just going to stay in here and uh, sack off his set tile as he doesn't need it anymore after being crippled, so another Heat Wave is going to be able to kill off this uh, set tile, so... Another uh, pretty big threat out of the way, so now my opponent's going to bring out the Greninja. This thing is always scary, so I know most Greninja do pack the Ice Beam, so I'm going to get the hell out of here. Bring out my Assault Vest Magirna as I can basically eat up anything this thing wants to go for. He goes for the Grass Knot, I guess maybe thinking that I would go into the Gastrodon. I'm not that stupid. So here he's going to, he's obviously Life Orb, he takes some Life Orb recoil here. Now he's going to go for the HP Fire, but Magirna with the Assault Vest is so damn bulky. We actually eat that like it's fucking nothing. And uh, here, I'm actually going to go for the Volt Switch. I should have just gone for the Floor Cannon and obliterated him, but I kind of thought he would swap out, but he didn't. So here, I'm going to bring out Mud Pie, the Gastrodon, and have to swap right back out into Magirna because we saw before he does, in fact, have the Grass Knot. So that was a bit of a derp on my part, but I honestly thought he would swap, but... It's all good, so he does go for the Grass Knot on the swap back into Magirna here, so he's actually taking a dick load of damage to his own life orb recoil, which is great. Now my opponent's going to go for the Hydro Pump, and he actually unfortunately misses, and uh, I'm just able to go for another Floor Cannon here and kill off his Greninja, so once again, major, major threat out of the way. I'm actually not even sure if that Hydro Pump would have killed me, because Assault Vest makes Magirna a monster. <laughs> but anyway, he's going to bring out his Tornadus, and uh, I'm all, I think I actually stay in here and sack off Magirna. Yeah, so he's going to go for the Superpower. I don't. I feel like I don't really need Magirna anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and sack that off. I'm going to bring out my Missing Nut here, because I kind of figured with uh, the Choice Scarf, I should be able to outspeed this thing, but I'm just, I think I'm just shy, and uh, he actually outspeeds me. 
And uh, unless he's Choice Scarfed too, I'm not sure what he is actually. He could be Choice Scarfed. But uh, I'm just going to go for the Wild Charge there, and that is going to obliterate the Tornadus. So my boy Alolan Golem rocking the facial hair as always. Actually putting in some work this battle, so here my opponent is going to bring out the Weavile. Now Weavile is honestly probably one of the scarier things on his team, and for whatever reason, whenever my opponent uses Icicle Crash, the fucking 3DS bottom screen pops up. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I, I don't know if that's like some bug with Citra or whatever. I'm sorry about that. It's not some weird editing thing that I did, it's just, I don't know, it's just Citra, that's so weird, but anyway, I'm going to bring out Mud Pie as he goes for another Icicle Crash, I'm going to go for the Earthquake, honestly just trying to get damage off, I know that Weavile is pretty paper thin frail, <laughs> yeah, that was weird, I don't know why Citra does that with Icicle Crash, that's like the only move it does that for, <laughs> but anyway, he's going to be able to kill me off now with an Ice Shard, and uh, I'm going to bring out my Zapdos here, which does seem like kind of a crazy play, because he is an ice type, but uh, I am choice scarfed, and I thought I would outspeed him, and uh, he actually just goes for the ice shard, which I think my opponent honestly probably would have been better off. I'm not sure if I outspeed him or not, because this is a bulky Zapdos. But anyway, my opponent just goes for the safe play, goes for the ice shard, and uh, I'm going to be able to kill off his Weavile. Now here, my opponent's going to go into his Victini, which is his last Mon. I'm going to go for the Discharge. I actually, unfortunately for my opponent, get the uh, Paralysis. And uh, he's going to V-create my Zapdos in, <laughs> into the next dimension here. So Zapdos is going to go down. And uh, my last Mon is the Reuniclus. And unfortunately for my opponent, my opponent actually should have won this battle. But he actually gets fully paralyzed. And uh, I'm able to kill him off with a Shadow Ball. So I actually calced it. He actually one-shot me with V-create. So had he landed that, he would have won. So good game set. We'll definitely rematch sometime. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Peace out.